nearly two years as the Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly, Margaret Ziwa is already feeling the pressure. Live information reaching us indicates that a group of Yala MPs from Tanzania, Rwanda backed by Uganda representatives, are already collecting signatures to censure Ziwa allegedly over incompetence and dictatorship. Ugandan representatives who wanted to remain anonymous because of the sensitivity of the matter confirmed to NTV that the social petition against Ziwa is already gaining momentum. But Ziwa, who was in transit to the Iyala headquarters in Arusha, told the NTV on phone that she is not aware of the censure motion against her. We had a session here. We had a sitting here. Mm. You remember? Yes. And I talked to you, members of the press. And me, I didn't hear anything. You are the one telling me. Until we were petitioned. I think it's important. It's good. This is the second time Yala MPs are attempting to censure Ziwa. In August last year, Yala MPs pushed for a censure motion against Ziwa over her stand to have plenary sessions in Arusha rather than keeping them rotational. The motion, however, fell through. Ziwa was of the view that the regional parliament holds most of its plenary sessions in Arusha against members' suggestion of rotating through the East African member states. According to sources within Iyala, those lined up with the censure succeeds are Dora Biamukama, who lost to Ziwa during elections in 2012, and Ziwa's nominator, Nusrat Peru. But if was to reach these potential successors, were futile. During their plenary session that wound up last week, MPs say the proposition of the censure was prominent, but everybody remained tight-lipped over the matter. Though some members allege that Ziwa is incompetent and always dictates her personal position on Yala members, others say those sponsoring the censure have continued to hold a grudge against her ever since her surprise win to become the first Ugandan female speaker to Yala. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Padiame.